First, we're going to tune the sixth string. The sixth string is the thickest string on the guitar. It's the one closest to you, farthest away from the ground. This one right here. We're gonna tune this one first. I'm gonna pluck it with my right hand. And I purposefully detune this to be flat. As you can see when I play it on the tuner, it says too flat. And as I talk, of course, the tuner jumps around sometimes. <laughs> it's trying to tune my voice right now. That's why the snark tuner right here can be pretty nice because it, you can choose between sound or vibrations because a tuner that's only doing it based on sound will pick up all the sounds in the room. So if you have other sounds going on, even just like me talking, it's telling you the tune of my voice. So uh, anyway, so this E, I let it ring. Too flat, tune up. So that means you tighten the string. The string gets higher sounding as you tune it. So if I'm tuning it the right way, I'll pluck it. You kind of hear it raise. Then I pluck it again. A little too flat still. Mm, now I made it too sharp. Yeah, E is in tune. Okay, then we go to the next string, the fifth string, which is the A string. So, so with the strings, Knowing the note names of the actual strings comes in handy when tuning for sure, but I have a printout that comes with this video that will tell you the letters you are tuning each string to. Those are the notes you are tuning each string to. The fifth string is the next one we'll do. Oh man, that's in tune, sweet. Then the next one down is D. And just for just for the purposes of this, let's I'm gonna make it a little sharp. Sharp means it's too high. Flat means it's too low. Okay, so it's too sharp. Of course, I tuned it to, um. So if you see the D, too sharp, tune down. So that means I loosen the peg, and so when I play it, I let it ring. Loosen the peg, it should sound lower as I play it. And keep playing it as you move it, very slightly. And D is in tune, super cool. So we're gonna start with the sixth string right here. Um, but the way you know, the way you know what tuning peg to turn to tune each string is you take the string, we're gonna start with this one right here. Um, you go, oh, you know, the easy way to do it is goes, okay, what one does this connect to? If you don't know, just what one does it connect to? Okay, this string is connected to this tuning peg, so I need to be tur turning this one, and so on. So make sure that you're turning the correct peg for the string that you are tuning. Otherwise, you won't see a change on your tuner. You might tighten or loosen your string too much, and tightening it too much is dangerous because then it could snap. So just uh, kind of pay attention to that, and when you do tune, turn it a very little bit at a time. Pluck the string, let it ring, turn it a little bit, pluck the string again and see, is it in tune again? Okay, no, it's still too sharp, which is too high, or still too flat, which is too low. I need to either tighten or loosen it. So if the string sounds too high, that means you need to loosen it and make the, it sound a little lower. If it's too low sounding, that means you need to tighten the string and move it higher. The way to figure out which way to turn your tuning peg is you can just experiment like with your top string right here. Oh, that way makes it higher. That way makes it lower <laughs> and so on. And then the other side will do it the opposite way. 
So that's an easy way to know, okay, wait, that way makes it higher, this way makes it lower. So then when you go to tune it, you know which way you're turning it, or you just pluck it as you go and go, okay, I need to make it lower. I'm gonna turn it a little bit lower. So loosening it or tightening it, if you don't know which way is looser or which way is tighter. All right, the next one we're gonna do is the third string. So if you look, third string now, now I'm, since my, since I have three tuning pegs on one side and three on the other side, I am noticing now that my third string is now connected to these other tuning pegs. So depending on, you know, where your tuning pegs are and all this stuff, you might have to turn the ones on this side an opposite way is this side to uh, make it looser or tighter. So make sure you pay attention to that. So my third string is connected to this one right here. I know, uh, you know, you can follow it along and see, you know, where you go. And then I play it, it's supposed to be a G. Oh yeah, that's in tune. You know, randomly you'll find strings that are just in tune and it's awesome. Now I'm gonna do the second string and that is a B string. So I'm gonna play that. Ooh, that's too low, too flat. So I'm gonna make it tighter. Play it again. A little bit tighter. Play it again. Mm, it's a little off. Awesome. Especially as you get closer and closer to the correct note, you're gonna wanna move the peg just slightly as you go. You don't want to move it too much because they're just going to be moving it a lot back and forth and not really finding it. You want to move it just slightly, especially if you're just a little bit off. If you're a lot off, you're going to, you know, of course, move it more. So the last string, the bottom string is also an E. So this sixth string and the first string are both E. This E though is higher sounding than this E. So we're going to tune the first string, which is E. Oh yeah, in tune. But let's say, let's, let me detune it. Let me make it higher just for fun. Play it again. Too high. Yeah. All right, so all six strings should be in tune. And so you can check them again, make sure you're right, or just start playing. And you can always pick a chord and go, hey, does that sound good? Ooh, I always use the E chord. We'll go over that one, but. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds like it's in tune to me. Now let's say you come across a situation where your strings are just so out of tune or you change your strings or whatever. Let's just re really detune this. All right. So that string is super out of tune now. Super out of tune, not even close. So let's see what the tuner does. So it's picking up like this should be the E. So not all tuners will do that, but we know it should be an E. So as we go, we tune it up. And if you notice, I'm moving it a lot more right now than I would if I was closer to the note. When you're closer to the note, you move it very small, but since I'm so far away from this note. Ooh yeah. All right, so, so that's what you'd kind of do if your strings we're really, really out of tune. Different tuners will tune different ways. Some tuners won't tell you the note or if this, this E was super out of tune, for example, some tuners may say, oh, you know, this is super low. Like This is a D right now and they're trying to tune you to a D and if it tries to tune you to a D and you know, based on the printout I have here and what you've learned from this, this actually should be an E, well, D is lower than E because if we're building A, B, C, D, E, and it's like, it's a, like A is lower, then B, then C, then D, then E, then uh, F, then G, and then 
all around again. Um, G could be lower than A and so on. It's, it's just, this is actually kind of a little bit complicated, I know, but let's say you're tuning uh, the E string and it says D, well, we know uh, if it's sounding too low and it's a D, well, we need to tune up until the tuner says E and then tune to the E. Some tuners will tell you the note that's actually coming out instead of the note that you should be tuning to. So like for example, this snark right here. Okay, so if you look at my snark tuner, if I'm at super out of tune with my snark, it's telling me that's a C. Well, C is before E, which means it's lower than E, as if like the letters were a ladder, right? C is before E, so that means we need to tune it up. C is lower than E. So we need to, on the snark, you see the C. Okay, I need to tune it up until it says E and then tune to the E. Does that make sense? Here, let's tune it up. See, now it says C sharp, D. Okay, we're getting closer to E. We're getting closer to E, D sharp. Now, we gotta tune to the E. And now it's, oh, nope, went a little out of tune there. There we go, now it's in tune. So make sure you're tuning to the right letter. Something tricky too is, let's say the A string is super out of tune. Look at, when the A string is too low, the G, it's G. So we have the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G in music, but then we start again with A after G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if A is too low, it could say G because it just keeps going and going and going. So A is too low, that means the string A is too low. It's saying G, okay, we need to tune back up to that A. So wait till it says A, keep going until it says A and then tune to the A. Make sure it's in the middle. If it's too, and on this one, if it's too far down like this, it's too low. So we need to get it in the middle. If it's too high up, I'll show you too high up, well, we, need to, we need to tune it down, it's too high. You wanna get it into the middle, there we go, perfect.